an Imperial IPA from an acclaimed British brewery. It's Bear Clock from Fallbridge Brewery in the Peak District. We have a can of the Halcyon. Imperial IPA coming in at 7.4% ABV. Now I picked this up in um, Waitrose, um, four pound a can. It's also on their website, four pound a can. So without further ado, we all know what Thornbridge are like. They produce some cracking beers, you know, famous for the GI pour, that sort of thing. So let's get this into a glass and see what it's like. There we go. Right, first in impressions. It's it's clear golden. There's a little tight, slight haziness there, but not a lot, okay. Um, it's got a, a one and a half finger white foam head. Let's get the aromas. Oh, lemon zest, pineapple, grapefruit. There's a pininess there to it, to it as well. Fresh pine needles. Oh, it really does smell wonderful. So, without further ado, should we, should we give it a try? Cheers. I love this beer. I love this beer. Um, it's winner winner chicken dinner all over it. Now that's just on the first little tiny sip. Let's take another sip. It's piney. It's resiny. Um, there's a bitterness there, but not overly bitter. Got a nice mouth feel to it. Doesn't feel like it's seven point four percent either. Feels like you're drinking something about five percent, believe it or not. Um, a great beer. A great beer for the money. You know, you're getting a, you're getting a lot of beer for the money here. Um, <coughs> now, it's made with. Um, five hops so you've got the galaxy you've got the ella you've got the chinook you've got the nelson sauvon and you've got the um bramming across hops in here and um the malts have got the low color and the maris otter it's Bitter, a little bit dry at the back. You're really getting this sort of lemon zest come through in this beer. The grapefruit flavour sticks out. And I so say you've got this piney, resinous um, sort of taste there as well. This is this is a great beer. This is this is a a wonderful beer. The more you sort of drink it, the more sort of flavours develop as well. There's some sort of biscuity malts coming through a little bit now. Sweet biscuity malts. I think it's um as well. I, I sort of put must admit I pulled this can out about six degrees, and it's starting now to warm up a little bit and develop. You know, it's got a fantastic lacing on the glass. You know, it's holding its head pretty well. It's really refreshing as well. 
really, really refreshing beer. You know, this is the sort of beer you, you want you want to drink on a hot summer's day. Sitting out in the garden, hot blazing summer's day. Couple of, couple of cans of this, barbecue on the go. Happy days, you know. Could life get any better than that? And I'm pretty sure drinking these sort of beers keeps the Kung Flu away as well. I'm convinced. I'm convinced that people that drink good beer don't get it. There you go. Okay, fantastic. Oh, it's holding its head. Absolutely fantastic. The, the, the lacing. Really does start to develop by the warmer it gets this, this beer. Whereas at the beginning, I see it's got a lot of bitterness. Not overly bitter, but there's a bitterness there. You're now getting at the back end that sweetness of the biscuity malts, giving you a sweetness at the back end. So, you know, I'm going to say this. If you was to drink this, chill this down to three degrees and drink it, there wouldn't be a lot of flavour to it at all, I don't think. Um, this is definitely a beer that's got to be drunk at um, over over seven degrees. You know, it's probably better if it's if it's more sort of eight, nine, ten degrees to drink this beer because it definitely get, get, the warmer it gets, the more flavours come out. Um, fantastic beer. So my last verdict now, which I can sort of come into now, it's warmed up. Starts off a bit bitty, getting lemon zest, grapefruit, peel at the beginning. It's bitter, a bit of pininess comes in, a bit of resinous as well. And then towards that back end, the sweet biscuity malts start coming in. And it just produces a, 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 a real pleasurable experience in your mouth. Great beer. Um, you seriously got to go out and, and buy one. For, I'll go on their website, four quid a can, or go into your local Waitrose and pick one up in there, four quid. Um, you won't be disappointed in this beer. So look, pick up a bottle, leave me a comment below, let me know what you think, all right? Give us, a, give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. <laughs>